Welcome to Math So. In this video, we are going to look at the trigonometric function, how to plot that one when we are changing the phase, particle shift, amplitude, and period. And as I explained all in my previous video, step by step. So this one, we are just trying to uh, uh, record all the information that we have. Um, we have uh, amplitude here, and amplitude we always write down in terms of um, uh, positive so it is well, amplitude is always positive which is 3 okay and what is our uh, period here the period I am writing which is twice pi over B and in that case B is half and if I just uh, do that calculation it would be 4 pi so 4 pi would be the our period and the next that pi over to that part is basically in our general form which is uh, indicating the phase shift and in order to calculate phase shifts, I can write down that is phase shift. Okay. And how to calculate phase shift? X over 2 minus uh, pi over 2. It gives us 0, which is X equal to pi. So that is our phase shift, right? And then we have vertical shift, which is minus 2. It is basically indicating that our graph will be uh, shifted down by minus 2 so this is this will be our new axis so it means our the center of the graph will be in that axis not anymore x axis so x axis is shifted down and this is our new x axis and remember that the graph start from that line or the center of the graph will be there okay now uh, how about the lower limit and upper limit of the graph and it is very important to do that information before we start plotting the graph because then you know how to scale the graph uh, and it looks uh, better better uh, look right so in order to get the upper limit you know that we do the vertical shift plus amplitude which is 3 in this case so which is 1 and in order to do the lower limit we know vertical shift minus of amplitude which is minus 5 so you know that our graph will be up to lower limit will be minus 5 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 then that one is minus 5 so it means the minimum point of the graph will be my at minus 5 and what would be the maximum point at 1 so the graph will not go beyond it and not coming down less than minus 5 that's the range of the graph so 1 to minus 5 is the range now you know that the graph will uh, uh, the what is the period 4 pi so if you go 4 pi it means the full complete circle will be finished at 4 5 so if I do the scaling in that one so it means the each grid if you consider the pi so that would be pi that will be 2 pi that will be 3 pi and then that will be 4 pi right so 4 pi and it means in that 4 pi the complete circle will be completed because 4 pi is our period but here you can see the phase shift is there the, our phase shift is x equal to pi so if x, x equal to pi is the phase shift it means the y axis is also shifting towards the right because that our our new y axis because the graph is starting pi front so it's starting pi towards the right so it means our starting point is no longer in the minus 2 in here because of the phase shift the this the initial point will be somewhere here okay now that's the point that the graph will start from this point our reference axis is because x axis is that dot and that one is our uh, reference y axis so graph definitely start from here Okay, that's the starting point. Now you can look at here, that's the negative, what it does. You know that if it is a positive, the graph will go like up, going to the maximum uh, point and then coming down to zero and then going to the minimum point. That's how the sine graph goes. But in this case, that graph will be just reflecting about x-axis. So wherever y is, was positive, now it will be negative. So it means in, instead of going upward direction, it will coming down direction like here and then going to zero position then going to the maximum amplitude then uh, I, I mean zero position means central position and then again coming back to central position okay now you can see we scale up to 4 pi but now we have to go one grid more which is 5 pi and you can easily uh, understand why it is 5 pi because our graph start from pi so from pi to 5 pi 
total is still it's a 4 pi the gap would be pi to 5 pi it would be 4 pi right so total period we are not changing the period is still 4 pi but it is starting from pi that's why it's ending 5 pi if it start from from 0 then it will finish at 4 pi and now we just need to connect the points right so if you just connecting the points let's see just that we are plotting the graph here then it's going up and then coming down okay, that's it so you can imagine that's finishing here so this is our graph and this uh, you know the the range would be minus 5 to 1 and in that circle it would be pi to 5 pi so it's starting just front and going down first because of the negative thanks for watching if you'd like to see more up-to-date videos please subscribe my channel